Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to show you how to use the editing tool that's built into YouTube. Now you can do things on your phone, but it's a real pain. So please use a PC when you're trying to use the editor that's built into YouTube. So you can see we've signed into our YouTube studio here and we uh, need to make a change to a video because we made a mistake. The video only has 600 views on it so far, so I'm not too worried about it. We need to clear this up before somebody catches the mistake and barks at us. So let's show you how to use the video. So the video editing tool. So you go in to YouTube studio, you uh, find the video you want and you click on it just like I already have. And then you click on editor. And what we're gonna do is show you how to do what we need to do right away, which is how to remove a segment of video that's already posted up on YouTube. But we just wanna remove a chunk of it. Uh, and then we'll show you how to use the blur functions and change audio and, and blah, 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 blah. But right now we just want to fix this thing. So what we need to do first is go to trim and cut, click the plus. And in case you're wondering when you're working in here, it's really easy to get confused and go, well, now how do I get back to the audio stuff or whatever else? Well, you click back. Make sense? Yeah. So click trim and cut. And then uh, what you can do is you can move this frame if you want to lop off the start of the video or lop off the end of it. Uh, you can do it uh, by simply moving this back and forth, or you can do what I need to do. I need to get rid of a chunk that's right about here where I say that Embraer is actually owned by Airbus. Two things. One, Embraer is just an airplane manufacturer out of Brazil, and they were actually in negotiations for a couple of years with Boeing, but the deal didn't happen. So not only am I wrong on the company, I actually am also, well, it just didn't happen. So here's what I need to do. I need to crop out the tiniest little bit of this where I say it. So let's just listen for a second. Embraer and the Embraers are now part of the Airbus family. There. I can look at this little section and I can see in the audio waveform, which is just the audio, you know, uh, turned into a graphical format, I can see where I need to cut. And what I need to do is I'm just going to click the plus on the right here to zoom it in so I can edit it more easily. And I'm going to slide this over a bit. And I need to cut from, I think, right here. So 42 seconds. And I think it's from right here. Let's find out. Let's do it again. Your planes, you can see that that's an Embraer. There. So no, I need to cut it from here all the way to 42 seconds. I need to get rid of this chunk. How do you do that? Not very hard. Click New Cut. And of course, this is zoomed out a little too far. There we go. I need to take this to here and let's just zoom back in again slide over a little bit i need to get rid of 42 right to there there i can click cut on that and now when i preview so if i move my uh, bar to the left here let's zoom all the way back out so you can see the whole video so it's less confusing there we go so that's the whole video and if i grab the vertical line here and i Slide it to just before where I made the cut. Let's go here and I click play. Note about their service. It'll just skip over. And about their planes. You can see that that's an Embraer. Brazilian design. And there we go. So that isn't the smoothest cut in the world, but it works. And yeah, I want to do that. So I'm going to click save. And it says, hey, this is going to take a few minutes to make changes. And you think, okay, yeah, I don't care. I need to do it. So let's just make it happen. Now, when it says a few minutes, usually it's literally eh, five, 10 minutes. However, it could be much longer. It could be, you know, an hour or two. If it's a large video, and especially if it's done in four and coming soon, 8K. So you can see at the bottom here, I can't make any more edits until that edit is has complete. Okay, so let's go on to a different video and we'll blur out some faces and change some audio. It's not very difficult to do, but if you haven't done it before. So we've already showed you trim and cut. Well, let's go to blur and we'll do a face blur. And this takes a few minutes where it goes through and it detects uh, the faces. So we'll be back in, oh, probably two minutes. And here we are a minute or so later and you can see it's only found one face, mine. So let's click on that and click apply. And <laughs> nice job, huh? Okay, so you can see here that there. this is the blur line and you can see it's applied it throughout the entire video. I only want a little bit. So let's say I want my pretty face there and then my face just becomes so hideous nobody should look at it here. And you can see it does move around, right? That's uh, kind of cool, but no, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just going to delete the face blur and say there was something else I wanted to blur. So I could click on blur 
and I could click custom blur and I could say, you know what? I don't want anybody to see my recycling in the background here. So I'm going to grab this little grab bar and I'm going to move that. There we go. So now nobody can see that, but I only want it again in this little space here. So I can move my play bar along and all of a sudden uh, my logo and stuff comes up and that's all happy and then boom, I've had enough. We can't, we can't see the recycling in the background. All right, so that's blur. Uh, and let's go with discard changes. Now, audio is interesting. What I've often wanted to do is to add specific audio. So if I say I've got a word wrong and I realized it afterwards, short version can't fix that. Well, you can't fix it in the YouTube editor. You have to do it on your own software, which it kind of sucks. I've even gone so far as to uh, join YouTube Music and upload uh, audio files and then try to favorite them and see, you know, basically, long story short, it doesn't work. So let's go in and say somewhere in here I have some music, for instance, that just isn't uh, acceptable uh, because it's a copyright infringement or something. Well, I can click here. This is just a very small selection of music here. And I'll click play. Let's, let's click... Um, Drop the tapes. Yeah, yeah that's Absolutely. terrible. Also, okay, but you can see there's lots of stuff here. I could also search, so I could search for heavy. We'll just leave it at that. I don't even know what that means. That's weird. But there it is. <laughs> okay, that's some weird music. Let's try this one. Okay, so there we go. Right, and now I want to add that. And you'll notice it, it, it defaults to the start no matter where your grab bar is here, where no matter where your line is here, it always puts the music to the start. But I can grab it and slide it around. I can also move the actual section I wanna play by grabbing the start and just dragging it and doing the same thing over here. And I can just say, I just want it for this little part here. But look, I've also got a mixer. So I can click on the mixer bar here and I can say, I really want this to be very quiet. So now watch what happens. So I'll start playing back here and there will be no additional audio. Watch this. Whatever you got. Let's see the how they work in this Chevy can't. Bolt. I'll show you why I'm changing mine because it's kind of fun, right? Oh, that's still too loud. So I can go into here. I say I want it a little quieter yet. And let's listen now. This is why I'm changing mine. Mine. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. But did you know you can add even more? Let's go with bells. I don't even know what I'm going to get with that, but let's just let's just play on that. Okay, there we go. And I want that audio as well. Yeah, you can have multiple layers. So uh, multiple, they're called tracks in the business. So that's, mul that's an additional track. And there it is. And I want to set the mixer on this. Also, that's way loud. I want that to be very quiet. And let's just hear what that, hear what that uh, plays like. So I'm going to slide back here. And then I'm going to click play. Let's see how they work in this Chevy Bolt. I'll show you why I'm changing mine, because it's kind of fun. There, that's this is why I'm changing right? But it's there, you get how to do it. And I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to remove that as well, because of course that's just junk for demonstration. Let's click back at the top right hand corner here. And now let's look at end screen. So end screen and info cards are things you can edit in the normal YouTube studio, but you can also do it here. And we're not gonna waste time with this other than to show you that, oh, there it is. You can move around your placements. You can add new ones in. Same thing with the info cards. This is one way to do it, but I wouldn't bother. What I would do is I would just go to my YouTube studio. So youtube.com and go to my videos and go to my video that I was trying to goof with this one. And I would just make the changes here. This is how I would do it. That's the easier place to do it, but you can do it back here as well. So yeah. Hey, so if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you want to get a hold of us, you can at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.